feel like I feel like what happened to me is fucked up. I feel like it has to be an answer to me not being able to go to sleep. I've been up for like six days now. Tomorrow, tonight, if I don't get no sleep, tomorrow will be the seventh day that I went without no sleep. Ain't no pill, ain't no drug in this rug that I could take. Because it's like, whatever it is that Whatever it is that makes us, excuse me, I'm always getting distracted by other people around me, but whatever that makes us get high when we drink alcohol or smoke weed or take any kind of sleep aid, that part of me is gone. Some people say it's called um, a hormone by, that's called melatonin that tells our brain when to go to sleep and when not to go to sleep. I was hoping that it would be something easy, like maybe there was something wrong with my eyes. Last night, because of the lack of no sleep, my eye blood, blood vessel popped. My eye was so red. And it was like scary at one point in time because I wasn't like, I wasn't like really getting no sleep and the little CBD that I took with melatonin in it was taken away from my sleep. Anyhow, it's like, I feel like that these doctors are playing with my mind or I got a condition that's worse than cancer, that's worse than anything because it's like, but why every doctor I go to, they don't have no kind of solution that they could give me. No pills, no shot, no nothing. I mean, you mean tell me that I'm the only person in the whole wide world that have a problem going to sleep, falling to sleep, and staying asleep? Them three problems I have. Going, falling, and staying. I can't go. I can't fall. And I can't stay asleep. And when I do fall, it happens like every once in a blue moon that my eyes or my body will tell me you know, a signal will come through. And out of nowhere, I feel like, man, I could go to sleep. And I won't take no pill, no nothing that day. All I would do just lay in my bed, close my eyes, and go to sleep. But for whatever reason, I've been feeling like whatever been going on to me has been like spiritual because I did have a message did come through from God. That message was God wanted me to save somebody. God wanted me to bring him somebody close to him, which I believe it was my friend DeMarco. Reason for that, reason for that is because I was starting to have like these little dreams or these little visions of like me and him hanging out, me and him doing something and something that I was supposed to tell him that might have could have possibly stopped him from, you know, being killed. I'm not saying that I could have possibly stopped him, stopped him. But if I could have said something to him, might have could have changed big thing or big reason of that happening. But anyhow, I didn't pay attention to the signs and the little things that I did try. I didn't really connect myself to him. So it's like, I really couldn't connect to him when he was living because we wasn't like kicking it tough like that. We would just talk every now and then, talk about our moms being dead and just talk about stuff like that. He was telling me a little bits and pieces of what's going on in his life. And I just wish I could have saved him. But anyhow, I just feel like, man, there's a reason for the season. Regardless if it's spiritual or not, I just hope that God, like, the only reason why I feel like I might die 
Sometimes I be thinking like, if I take too many of these sleep aids, maybe I'm going to overdose. You know, and sometimes I be thinking like, um, you know, something going to happen to my body while I wake up and my memory is lost or I wake up and I got cancer because my bones been hurting a lot lately. And I believe it was because of no sleep, like my spinal cord and my ribs, like they'll pop. Every time I walk, every time I try to toss and turn, my spinal cord and my rib, they'll pop. And like, just a lot of weird shit be happening. And I just feel like I really do be wanting my sleep. And I just pray to God, like, one day, the day when DeMarco died, I just uh, gasped for air. And me, like out of nowhere, I would stop like breathing for a second. I don't know if my sleep problem got to do with lack of oxygen, but these doctors, they procrastinating on getting me the medicine or getting me the sleep machine and letting me try it out. Now I'm waiting to do another sleep study so they could test me and see how I sleep with this sleep machine. And then after that, I'm supposed to have an answer. Hopefully it works. I have faith that God, it got to be an answer to my no sleep. Like, I can't keep on going on life without being able to go to sleep or fall asleep or stay to sleep. I got to be able to get some sleep. Hopefully I get some sleep tonight. I hope I get quite a bit. I took a walk because my mind didn't want to be in the house. I didn't want to waste my time and my life just at the house, bored. I don't see how my wife, and my stepdaughter, and my stepson does it. Like, my stepson, he wakes up every day, 24 seven on the video game, on the laptop, on the video game, on the laptop, on the video game, on the laptop, that's it. And my stepdaughter, she just wakes up. We got her a dog and everything, she just wakes up don't really want to clean up after the dog don't really really care too much about the dog and she just either be talking to her boyfriend or like on instagram or netflix i can't see how a person just so young waste their time just in the bed then a lot of people will be thinking and looking at me like if i really be tripping like they be wondering like why he can't go to sleep won't he just take a uh Tylenol PM or or this and that pill or they, they just be giving me so many options of taking different pills and I just be like or try weed or try that it's like when you when you finally try something and it doesn't work or it doesn't affect you as much you don't want to take it no more like when I took that Seroquel Man, I thought that that was, wasn't going to be so like, so many sign effects. I'm going to just lay right here. I didn't think that it was going to be like so many 